Okay, I want to go over this program to model a double pendulum. Uh, there's some tricks here, so I'll go over it in as much detail as I can. I won't go over everything. I'll assume you have some basic idea of vPython. Uh, if not, you can look at some of my other videos. Okay, so I'll just go through this line by line. Uh, these two just set the lengths of the two strings. You can change that. Uh, pivot is just a point that I put at the top so that I can have a reference place to connect one of those strings to. Uh, then I have mass one is the bottom mass, mass two is the uh, mass one is the top mass, mass two is the bottom mass, and then the sticks, I'm, I call them sticks instead of strings, are the two cylinders connecting them. You actually don't even have to put all that stuff in there, but it makes it look good. Um, and you'll notice here that I put the position of let's say mass two down here, uh, I put it a below, hmm, that's weird, well, I'm weird, that's fine, I just put it straight below uh, mass 1 by an amount L2, and I'm going to change that later. And then the cylinder, it starts at mass 1, and it has an axis uh, that points from mass 1 to mass 2, so, and color and all that stuff. And these are the masses of the two things, again, you can change that. Uh, I just use the non-vector G because I'm not doing vector calculations for the motion, I'm using Lagrangian. Uh, theta 1 and theta 2, these are just the starting angles for the, the two masses. So those definitely you'd want to change and play around with. Uh, and then theta 1 dot and theta 2 dot, these are just the starting angular velocities. You have to have, you have to have a starting angle, you have to have a starting angular velocity because we are only calculating the angular the second derivative of the angle in the Lagrangian and then you have to use uh, the Euler method to calculate theta, the dots and the thetas. Okay, down here in this section I just adjust the masses and the sticks um, with these new angles. So I, I rotate them an amount, I change the position, I update the sticks, um, and that's that's all you have to do. Okay, down here, this stuff doesn't mean anything. I was trying to solve for the equations for the uh, angular accelerations that were too complicated, so I broke them up into pieces, but I ended up not using this, so I don't know why it's still there. Probably because I don't like to delete stuff. Or put comments, apparently. Uh, so then the time, yeah, sometimes you do have to have a smaller time interval to get this to work. Attached trail just puts a trail on the end of mass 2 with only 100 I think this is 200 frames. It's for 200 calculations. I don't know if that's dots or calculations, but if you change this to a bigger number, the trail's longer and shorter, shorter. That makes sense. Um, I only ran it for 20 seconds. Um, again, this A, B, C stuff I didn't use. Okay, this is these these two lines. These are the key. 53 and 54. These I got from the Lagrangian. Uh, I'm calling it theta one double d dot, so it's a double dot, and it the angular acceleration of theta one depends on all this stuff. It goes on all the way over here. See, it's it's kind of drawn out. Uh, so I can calculate that based on it's based on just the positions and the angular velocities, and the same thing for theta two, and that comes from the Lagrangian. Okay, now once I have that, this equation 55 is not so bad. This is just the order. Uh, formula for uh, the update. So this says that if I know theta 2 double dot and I multiply it by the time interval, add it to what theta 2 do, uh, dot was, I get the new theta 2 dot. So this is the angular velocity update formula for theta 2. And then here is, is for theta 1. And then I use the same idea for theta. Normal theta is using the angular velocity. Okay. Yeah, and you could do this more complicated way, but yeah, I don't do that. If you make a small time interval, it doesn't matter. Uh, next, down here, I just update the position of mass 1 and position of mass 2 based on these angles I just calculated up there. And then I update the sticks. And then I update time. That's it. That's all there is. Uh, this stuff, I was trying to calculate the energy, just to plot the energy as a function of time to show that's constant. But I made a mistake, and it wasn't working. So, But that would be a great homework for you. But you see, it's the only difficult part is drawing the objects and then these two lines. 
53 and 54. After that, it's it's pretty straightforward. Okay, that's the double pendulum. Let's run it just so I can show you that it actually works. It's fun to watch. And I, I turned off uh, zooming in the other program, but you, know, you can rotate this around too. And actually, uh, no, you can't do it in this one. Okay, so that's that's the program. Go make your own. I'll put a link to this code in the description of the video.